Hello, and welcome to this introductory video covering JTAG Maps, a free software extension to Altium Designer that allows you to quickly review the JTAG, also known as Boundary Scan, test access offered by your design. Using JTAG Maps, you can distinguish between JTAG Signal Nets, also known as TAP Nets, fully JTAG Boundary Scan testable nets with two or more controllable pins, partially testable nets featuring a single controllable pin, power nets, and also JTAG Boundary Scan Compliance Nets, which may need to be checked before a device can enter its Boundary Scan mode. After installation, start JTAG Maps by simply clicking the button on the bottom right of the Altium window. This brings up the dialog box, and from here it is a simple case of clicking Start. The information gathered at this stage is already sufficient to offer an initial view of your Boundary Scan accessibility. However, this accuracy can be enhanced by adding further component details such as identifying instances of inductors, resistor networks and other component types. Here we can set L2 through to L6 as inductors. And scrolling down we can also set up the pin pair information for some resistor packs or networks. In this case the resistors are of type 18, 27, 36 and 45 pin connections and we can type this data into the boxes below. The additional information will help JTAG Maps to find the signal connections on the nets on the board. In fact, the full range of assignment options can be seen as follows. Boundary scan, used to identify boundary scan devices, where all pins are considered to be full I.O. unless otherwise specified. Connector, used to identify connections which are handled as inactive devices by default. Connection used to define connection schemes of jumpers, zero ohm resistors, solder links and so forth. Parallel used to identify external devices which are considered fully scannable such as accessible connectors or test points. Resistor used to identify resistors, series resistors which are handled as fully transparent and pull up pull down resistors. Finally resonator used to identify parts that are considered fully inactive or otherwise passive. Most boundary scan devices will be identified using JTAG Maps smart search algorithm and by default these boundary scan parts are assumed to have all signal pins defined as bidirectional and boundary scan controllable. However, for the most accurate representation JTAG Maps can also import the components BSDL or boundary scan description language model that is supplied by the silicon vendor. Using BSDLs will accurately identify input, output and bidirectional pins that can be used for boundary scan based testing plus any special conformance pins that are required to set up boundary scan operation. If we now scroll down to the devices predefined as boundary scan we can find and associate the correct BSTL models. First the Altera device and then the microprocessor. Once you have completed the modelling task, click OK for the analysis operation to take place. Soon you will be able to see a table of results with colour coded net names against net types. If we scroll through the list you will see the different types of nets defined. Green indicating fully testable nets with two or more boundary scan test pins. Orange with single boundary scan test pin indicating partially testable net plus also yellow for tap signal nets, red for powers and grounds and black for currently not testable nets. You can select or deselect the nets you want to highlight on the schematic and click on apply to view the display. In a moment you'll see the highlights appear in the background and then you can zoom in for some more detail.
Over here, you can also see the JTAG compliance net for the NXP microprocessor device that switches between JTAG boundary scan and JTAG debug mode. To enhance the fault coverage on a board, you can also prospectively add external boundary scan I.O. and review the effects. As an example, we can look at connector J4, which is currently displaying mostly partially testable nets in orange. To do this, press Start again on the JTAG Maps interface. We will now scroll down to J4 and select the component definition Parallel. We can legitimately do this if we know that in manufacturing we will be connecting J4 to an external boundary scan I.O. module. Press OK and then apply to review the update. You can now see the nets surrounding J4 have changed from orange to green, that is from partially testable to fully testable. In order to see a statistical text summary of the boundary scan access, you can right click on the table and select show report. Now you can see a list of percentages against the net types and then a full list of all the nets and their type listed beneath. Additional features of JTAG Maps include an export to ProVision capability which will generate a project archive suitable as a base for a full JTAG ProVision test development. The Chains button simply gives an overview of the boundary scan chains that Maps has determined and finally the import feature allows the import of external information that can be viewed in JTAG Maps. Externally generated information could be diagnostics data from a failed boundary scan test or perhaps a full fault coverage report from ProVision's built-in fault coverage examiner. We hope that you will try JTAG Maps for yourself. If you also need to look at developing tests for your design, then do please get in touch via our website www.jtag.com or send a mail to info at jtag.com. Thanks very much for watching and we look forward to hearing from you soon.